Once the Quick Link TX is configured, download the Skype TX controller software onto your computer. It can be used with any PC or laptop running Windows 7 or above on the same network as the TX unit. To add a TX unit to Skype TX controller, type in the IP address or the serial number of the unit, then click the Add button. For multiple call management, you can add up to 14 other TX units by following the same process. To add a contact, enter the user's Skype ID and click Search Skype. Clicking the Add User icon next to the desired name will add the contact to the contacts list. You are now ready for your first call. To make a call, press the video icon next to the contact and then an available device channel. When the user has accepted, you will be presented with the incoming video preview and below it, the return video. You can also accept incoming calls from Skype users by clicking the green notification icon. The Skype watermark on the screen can be moved by adjusting the sliders. Another great feature is the control of the aspect ratio. The snapshot feature takes a still image of the caller. This image can be used for the fallback to still function. You could set the minimum resolution from the caller. If the resolution drops below this, the snapshot will replace the video, but the audio will remain. The controller software displays very useful technical data on the incoming and outgoing streams, such as the size of the incoming video, the currently active network protocol and packet loss information. These can be used to determine the kind of network quality the caller has. The remote CPU bar displays the caller's current CPU usage. This is a good indication of whether the caller may be running too many background applications. All of this call monitoring information can also be displayed for the outgoing call. Each unit added to the TX controller can be managed completely independently. For more information on the Quicklink TX and TX controller application, visit our website or email us.